Adding reviews to your Google shopping listings is single-handedly one of the best things you can do for the success with Google ads. But exactly what is the process and how do you even go about getting those review stars approved for your shopping listing? Now, the reason why I say adding reviews to your shopping listings is one of the single-handedly the best things that you could do for your Google ads performance is because it just simply helps overall increase the sales that you get. And there's a lot of other benefits which we'll be talking about regarding adding those review stars. But this is one of the most overlooked things simply because a lot of e-commerce store owners don't spend the amount of necessary time to actually get their review stars up on shopping listings because in reality don't know the benefits of having those review stars in the first place but also because they end up using the wrong review app for their shopify store or whatever platform they're using and this app does not give them the ability to add those review stars directly to shopping listings so if you're just somebody who's wanting to add reviews to your shopping listing and you just started with google ads this video is for you but also if you have been running google ads for a while using some kind of reviews app but you want to now start having your reviews come up on shopping listings this video is also for you so before we begin i shall be talking about exactly what the process is and by the way i will be showing you guys how to add those review stars with one of my favorite review apps called luke's now unfortunately luke's does not sponsor this video but i still recommend using luke's because luke's is one of the only apps that i personally know now there are other apps out there but just luke's is something i've been using from the beginning and they do offer this service of directly exporting your reviews from your luke's app onto the google shopping listings directly but exactly what are the benefits of using reviews on your shopping listings why is it such a big deal and why should you spend time energy and money having these reviews come up on your shopping listings because yes it does cost a little bit of money but first things first one of the major reasons why having reviews on your shopping listings is so important is because of your customer and what i mean is having reviews on your listings actually increases the trust these people have for your brand by about tenfold now as you see on my screen right here we are looking at one of the searches done for 3d printer and i want you to take a look at some of the listings that are popping up mostly what you see is a lot of these listings about 90 percent you could say are listings without any type of review stars attached to them however out of all of these listings coming up here there's only about three different listings which have review stars and from a customer's perspective if i was a potential customer trying to buy a 3d printer right now obviously if i want to spend a two hundred dollars a thousand dollars two thousand dollars on a 3d printer i would be more likely to trust a store like this with these review stars compared to just any joe selling without any kinds of review stars to them in reality it all comes down to trust and trust is the main contributing factor as to why somebody purchases from you and why somebody doesn't purchase from you so these review stars instantly add a lot of trust especially if google ads is one of the main platforms that you use to advertise your product so trust is the number one factor number two factor is that you actually start getting better cpcs and better cost per purchases now what do i mean by this exactly the thing is tying this back to number one which was trust when people trust you more they're more likely to click on it so if i was in the market trying to buy a 3d printer which cost about 200 dollars Obviously, I would want to buy from Best Buy because they have 68 reviews, even if it's four and a half stars compared to Toy Box right here, which has zero reviews available here, at least. So what that means is most likely I'm going to go ahead and click on this Best Buy ad to go onto their product page directly. And when this happens, this is going to directly start impacting your CPCs because I'm just one person clicking on Best Buy's ad. But there's a bunch of other consumers out there searching for 3D printer right at this moment seeing this specific product listing come up and clicking on it at the same time so what is happening is because more and more people are trusting this specific product listing more and more people are clicking on it they're spending much less money per link click simply because they have a higher ctr because again more people are clicking on their ad due to this effect right over here so this leads to lower cpcs and of course when you have more people coming at a lower cost on your website there's a very good chance you're going to be paying less per purchase because in reality you're just paying less to have them on your website in the first place so as you can see this effect of having these review stars kind of starts to trickle down from the funnel so at the very top you have the cpcs to have somebody add the product to cart then initiate a checkout and finally purchase and so forth so 
this impacts the entire funnel significantly which is one of the main reasons why will you want to have these review stars again it all comes down to trust but the third thing is and one of the most important things and if you watched my previous video i made on how i'm doing hundred fifty thousand dollars per month with the google ads this will kind of make sense to you but if you haven't already watched that be sure to watch that video after this one the link is in the top right one of the best things you can do for your google shopping listings is to stand out of the crowd and of course your image really helps you with that in that previous video i mentioned toy box a lot because they're an excellent job with their image however they could stand out of the crowd even more if they had these reviews coming up and it would be sort of like all-in approach from them if they really put some time into adding these reviews to their product listing as well but they didn't so this is where they're lacking i personally recommend adding in reviews because let's say you don't have any kinds of special images to stand out of the crowd now that you have reviews as you can see there's only three different listings here with those reviews 90 percent don't have any types of reviews so already you're standing out of the crowd big time by just having these kinds of review stars coming up so one easy way to stand out of the crowd lower your cpcs and at the end get a lot more profits get a lot more sales is to have these review stars and there's a ton of other benefits that you can get from these review stars for the sake of this video i'm just going to end it there but now that you want to start actually adding these reviews to your product listings the next thing you want to understand is that there are actually prerequisites and things you have to check off the checklist before you can add these review stars to your product listings. Prerequisite number one, you need to be using Luke's first of all. As I mentioned earlier, there's other apps that do provide this kind of service, but I just use Luke's. All I know is that Luke's does this, so I'm recommending Luke's to you guys. But with Luke's, you need to be on the growth plan. Now, this growth plan is around $35 per month when I'm recording this video. When you try to go and get it, it might be a different price, but as of right now, it is $35 a month, and you need to be on this growth plan in order to even qualify to list your reviews onto the shopping listings platform itself. Otherwise, that specific functionality will not be available to you. So that is prerequisite number one, be on the $35 per month growth plan. Prerequisite number two, you need to have a minimum of 50 reviews in total for your Shopify store. So if you just started out, you have like seven reviews on your Shopify store, this is not for you. You wanna add as many reviews as possible to your store, preferably over 50 to 100. I recommend that you have some reviews per product, but in total, it should be above 100 just to be on the safer side because there is a good chance that Google Ads might just deny your request to have your reviews come up if you're very brand new or if you just are on the border of that 50 review limit. So I recommend at least having 100 reviews and above and per product, you wanna kind of mix and match it. So one product maybe have 37 reviews, another product have only five reviews another one have 23 and so forth kind of mix and match so you keep things fresh and also when it comes to getting approved for this review start program with google you don't face any kinds of issues but prerequisite number three you need to be able to sync all of your reviews from your shopify store directly onto the shopping ads platform so that means if you went ahead and you added some reviews yourself and you know these are fake there's a very good chance google might also be able to understand that that review is fake especially if you're using kind of like the same email over and over again or something is very similar to each other so you want to be making sure that your reviews are kind of random again as i said random number of reviews random reviews in general and you need to be able to submit all of these to the shopping listings program because you don't get to unfortunately manually choose which reviews get submitted once you sign up for this program it's going to just be automatically done every single time but the next prerequisite that you should have is that some of your reviews need to have text so if you just decide to again do it by yourself and just add all of those reviews without any text just five star five star five star first of all that's not professional at all but second that's not going to cut it for this program right here so you want to make sure you have reviews with text in them and they're random star reviews as well so some five some four some three and so forth don't just do five stars for all of your reviews which brings me to the next point which is you want to make sure that there is no kind of sensitive information within your review so if somebody puts their full name within the review their email address their home address whatever the case may be any type of sensitive information you want to just not submit that review to this program right here or even have it on your website because then that leads to privacy issues and you might actually get in trouble if you display any kind of information like that so make sure that you don't have any types of sensitive information within this reviews but once you have kind of went through this checklist once you are sure that your store matches all of these prerequisites right here then you are ready to move on to the next step so the next step is starting the actual process of importing these reviews within google merchant center so the first step is actually going on to your shopify store and from your shopify store on the left side going to the app section because here 
you will be going into the Luke's app. And of course you want to make sure Luke's is downloaded. So it is this specific app right over here. So within Luke's, here's what we will be doing. So first things first, you need to make sure that your Luke's app is actually on the correct plan, which is the growth plan, because without the growth plan, you will not be able to submit your reviews to your Google Merchant Center and then to your shopping listings themselves. So make sure you're first of all on the Luke's growth plan and you can check that within the settings section right over here. But our next step is actually not on Luke's itself, but within the Google Merchant Center. So here is exactly what you have to do from your Google Merchant Center dashboard. You will be going on the left side to the product section and from the product section, you will be going to the all product section because here you want to look at some of the products which are coming up and you want to match the identifier information on these products directly within the Luke's app. So first things first, just click any random product on your website. We're just going to click this first one for the sake of this example, and you will be scrolling all the way down. So right over here until you get to this final attribute section, because here is where some important information is connected. So now that we are on this page right over here, we'll be going back to the Luke's app. And from the Luke's app, we will be going into the settings section because this is where we actually enable the option to submit those shopping reviews. So we go to the settings section and from here, we click on integrations on the left side. So you just go ahead and click on integrations and you will see this list come up right here. Now Luke's does offer a lot of integrations separately. So if you want to directly integrate with any of these, you can look into the specific directions as to how that should be done. But our main goal for this video is the first integration, which says Google shopping. Now I've already done this, but for you, it might be a little bit different. Here are the things you will need to be looking at from the Google shopping section. So first things first, GTIN, you want to be including the correct information as to what you have submitted within your Simprosis Shopify feed app, which then got submitted to your Google Merchant Center. So for instance, right over here, we want to figure out exactly which one of these is our GTINs. And as you saw right here, Luke's gives you the option to choose from barcode, SKU and product ID. So we want to match this information from the Google Merchant Center. So barcode, do we see anything related to barcode here? We do not. So we move on to the next one, which is SKU. Do we see anything right here, which identifies the GTIN in terms of the SKU? So there is no kind of header right over here, which says SKU. So that means we don't have that information available. And then that final one was product ID. So we look for product ID right over here and we don't see anything except ID, but this is not our GTIN right here. This is actually another option, which we'll be choosing from the Luke's app very shortly. So in this case, what we do, because we don't see any of these identifiers here, right over here, which we can then submit, because again, you want to make sure that whatever you submit within this section right here matches the GMC. So if it said any type of specific GTIN here, and I'm talking in terms of the headers right over here. So in this case, if for example, price meant the GTIN option, so it said the GTIN of every product, then right here, you would choose the price option. But here in this case, we don't have anything in terms of GTIN. So what we do is we would change this to don't include. Next thing, MPN, same thing here. So here, what we do is we look for the specific identifier here, which is MPN. So in this case, we don't see any kinds of MPNs available because again, this is a drop shipping store. We don't necessarily have GTINs or MPNs. So in this case, what you would do is you would also put it on don't include. So those are the two major settings you want to change it to. Of course, if you have any types of headers, which identify the MPN on within the section right here, within the GMC, you would choose that specific option from these three right over here. If you don't, you just change it to don't include. So once that is done, now you want to choose the product prefix. And this is exactly what I was talking about in terms of the ID. So as you can see right here for this store, it says Shopify underscore NZ, whatever it says for you, that is what you would be choosing. So these two characters right over here describe what country you're trying to advertise this product in. So if majority of your products are in the US, it should say US right over here. If this store is only run in New Zealand, for example, it should say NZ over here. So as you can see, it says NZ over here. So what we would do is from this list, we would choose the accurate identifier and make sure to save that within here. So by just clicking on that specific identifier, we would be able to choose that. And if none of the identifiers match what you see on your GMC, you would just click do not add prefix. And that's as easy as it gets. That's all you need to do in order to set up Luke's with your shopping listings program. Now, because I've already done this in the past, I don't see a special option, which is available at the very end. But if we go to the official instructions provided by Luke's and scroll all the way down, we will be able to see that right over here, there's a special button that you might be able to see on your end if you haven't already done this, which has automatically sync reviews with Google shopping. That is exactly what you need to turn on. And as it mentions right over here, once that toggle is activated, Luke's will directly begin reporting your reviews 
to Google Shopping and that's pretty much it with Luke's very simple, very straightforward. You don't have to do anything crazy once you are at the very end and have done that. It's as simple as double checking with the Luke's team and you can just click this little question mark icon on the bottom right and search for articles or directly email them right over here asking them to verify that your shopping listings are going to now be importing all of the reviews directly from Luke's, but only do this after you follow the directions I mentioned within this video. But we're not done yet. Now here are a few key pointers. Number one key pointer, make sure to continue adding reviews to your Shopify store regularly. Just because you apply to this program does not mean that that is where you stop adding new reviews to your Shopify store. Every single new product that you add and in fact, any new winner that you get, make sure to always continuously add more and more reviews because that's really the best way to keep this Luke's integration very fresh and up to date. Otherwise, the reviews might get too old and there's a good chance that Luke's might actually stop showing some of your reviews. So make sure you consistently add new reviews once a week or so to your new products, especially as well as any new winning product. And number two pointer that I have for you is make sure to keep your reviews very random. Again, don't add a five reviews per product for every single product and don't make it so that every product has exactly five five star reviews you want to kind of keep it very random so one product maybe have 13 reviews where there's only four star reviews and so forth and another product where there's seven reviews in total but then there's five reviews which are five star and then two reviews which are one star so keep things very fresh very random because otherwise you're going to start to get into trouble with google shopping and the integration because again google has become smarter day by day they are able to identify very quickly who is being honest and who is not being honest. But that is pretty much it as to how you can add those reviews to your Google Shopping product listing. Now, if this is a lot of work for you, if you're already scaling past $30,000 per month and you would rather have somebody else do all of these things for you and help you scale further with Google Ads to high five figure, six figure, even seven figure months, go on to my website at yourroommarketing.com and book a free call with me. This is my Google Ads marketing agency where I can personally work with you directly to help you scale your brand to the next level, especially with Google Ads. So book that free call with me and get a free strategy report at the end of the call, which you get with no obligations. But if you found any type of value in this video, destroy that like button and destroy that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video.